latest analysis on women in technology can make for pretty gloomy reading. In terms of stats, women make up barely a quarter of the tech workforce. More than half feel burned out at work, and that's considerably more than the number of men who do. And in Europe, two thirds of tech women feel underpaid compared to their male counterparts. The list goes on. That said, the stats are slowly getting better. And in any case, here at Transform Talks, Huawei's series of ad hoc interviews on technology subjects, we don't do gloomy. Like Transform Magazine, we do upbeat and optimistic and hopefully helpful. So, to that end, at Huawei's 2023 Summer School for Female Leadership in the Digital Age, my colleague Berta Herrero asked a selection of guests for their advice to young women considering a future career in tech. And top of their tips? Self-belief. Resist the stereotypes and push for the career that you want. We are trained as women to be like perfect, to, to take care of others, to be uh, always looking for uh, uh, to be agreeable, always uh, try to to be modest no that you cannot be bored or you cannot be like putting value yeah uh, ambitious they say that that's not a good word for a girl but it's pretty good for a boy so that is something that we need to change the mindset we need to change the culture and we need to start by ourselves at our home with our friends and then we are going to start to be change makers. I think it's from utmost importance because um, um, I'm, I'm always uh, partnering. Um, I see um, the relationship between men and women um, as a cooperation and uh, we have to use our different um, advantages or talents uh, and team up uh, and get the most out of it. Um, but I also see that uh, women are somehow more caring um, and um, more into empowering others. And therefore, uh, this European Leadership Academy is so important because um, networks are for lifetime. Uh, and uh, each and every of these young women uh, will make their way. And sometimes uh, you will remember uh, that you know somebody uh, from Italy or especially from Austria uh, and you can call and ask for help, uh, for help or for support. And I think this is uh, one of the most um, um, important things and ways um, um, academies like this create. First of all, be confident, but at the same time, be gentle with others and yourself. Accept that you are not perfect and study so much to be uh, better and better every day and uh, don't be afraid of you know making uh, mistakes or um, just jump into things and uh, you know I always follow my passion and I am a very passionate person as you know but I always followed my passions backed with data so I always try to say and prove myself it makes sense to do something because of something else yeah. so yeah follow your heart but at the same time be prepared uh, and uh, be open to what comes through you know opportunities that come to you if our future is tech and women are not in tech then we don't have an equal chance to shape the future and so i think it's not about like just wanting to be in tech it's more about think about the problems you care about right. and think about uh, the change you want to see in the world and then actually, probably if you will think of how I can make that happen with technology, there will be so many possibilities. That's so it. really thinking of technology as a superpower. And I think framing it that way will be kind of more motivating because I mean, learning, for example, coding is hard, right? But you will need this motivation. And then the other thing I would recommend is sort of finding those peers and finding those role models that you can actually reach out to uh, when it gets tough. Trust your guts. <laughs> So I think if we hear something that is uh, mean or disrespectful, we feel it, definitely. And most of the time we choose to ignore this feeling, don't. Uh, just think if you heard this address to one of your best friends, how would you react? Would you be offended? Yes, you would. Be your best friend. Uh, I think second advice is to find safe people. So <laughs> you have best friend for whom you would be these safe people. Try to find people that you can trust in your work environment, in your family and in your friends. Like 
that will trust you if you have to come up with a, a sad testimony one day and that will be there to help you all the way. I love the, the word serendipity. So if you are open to things that happen to you and you proactively do something about it, then I'm sure you made a, you're going to meet a lot of uh, amazing people around you that can help you and talk and talk with other people and share thoughts and don't be afraid of sharing an idea if you have a new idea that could change things. So don't keep things for yourself. Mm -hmm. Be open to others. Would you like to be free? Would you like to work in in a world where you, with no boundaries, with no limits, that you can go anywhere and work from anywhere. So that's what you can do when you work in, the, in cybersecurity or in the technology field. So if you want to be free, go to the technology and cybersecurity field. If you have any affection to the tech industry, um, go for it. Um, search for the perfect education for university, for possibilities to dive into the topic, um, then the potential is uh, huge and you will always find a way in it. And uh, we see uh, on a lot of examples how important it is to lift diversity, uh, especially in big industries, in big companies, because um, women always, women always make a difference.